Hey right, guys, so today we're uh, reviewing the Varla Pegasus electric scooter. This thing's a beast of an electric scooter. I've already taken out for a ride to test out some stuff. I'm going to give you my impressions today. This is an initial impressions video, mainly uh, because uh, they're going to be raising the price pretty soon, so I wanted to get this video out so you guys could at least have an opportunity to get one of these at a lower cost before they raise the price about $300 in about a week or two. Um, but, you know, I'll have a full review and sort of a long-term review in a month or so after I give it some more miles. But today we're going to see how it does just on just a little bit of riding today. And let's, let's take a look at what the, the features of the scooter are a little more closely and then we'll take it for a ride. Okay, so this is a pretty big scooter. It's got dual uh, 500 watt hub motors on uh, the front and the rear. It's got front and rear suspension. Uh, build quality is pretty good, all metal construction. Uh, there's a little bit of rubbing in the rear disc brake back here. Not a big deal. You can adjust it with a couple of um, tools here in the back. I'll probably do that later. It's not really affecting my ride. There's a light in the back and the front. Uh, these have 8 inch solid wheels, so uh, not, not pneumatic tires, so no risk of popping the tires if you're uh, riding them around, which is nice. They're also really wide, so 3 inches in width. And here are the uh, front disc brakes. So these are just standard disc brakes, um, basically handlebar grips here, not uh, hydraulic or pneumatic brakes. Uh, it folds down, of course, here. You want to be careful when you uh, assemble this that you make the proper adjustments here on the nut that's on the inside that actually holds, that locks this in place. And they, have, they have this little extra, like, battery strap here to hold this uh, lever in place. You don't want this to go down onto this red thing here. That will actually unlatch it. So this just prevents it from getting unlatched because if, if this unlatches while you're riding, you're going to have a bad day. So in addition to the uh, dual 500 watt motors, which is going to give you tons of power and speed, so top speed of 28 miles an hour and range of up to 28 miles, uh, the batteries of course are significant. It's um, 48 volt, I think, 15.6 amp hour battery. So a uh, huge battery in here. This thing weighs a lot. It's 66 pounds. So yeah, getting it into in and out of your car can be a bit of a challenge. Uh, but this is you know meant to be like an, a last mile scooter, so you know mainly meant for commuting around and stuff. Um, you know city commuter. This is not really meant for off road. Although I did do a little bit of off roading with this, and uh, it was okay. It um, was able to handle a little bit of off roading, but um, it's very limited. It's mainly designed for. Uh, city use, pavements, asphalt, that kind of thing. So uh, putting this together was actually pretty simple. I just take it out of the box. The only thing you have to assemble is the handlebars. Here in the front there's two um, hex screws that go in uh, that locks the handlebar in place. But that's pretty much it. Nothing else needed to be connected or set up. It only took about five minutes to put it together. Up here um, you have a bell, you have your Brakes on uh, rear and front here on the left and right. Uh, this little mount here is for a camera. I add that myself. Thumb, thumb throttle here. These little um, handlebar grips 
do rotate a little bit. They move a little bit, but it's not terrible. This is your controller. Uh, turn on the scooter and also change your settings. This is an M5 display. This is actually from like a e-bike. A lot of e-bikes use this. So uh, I press this little M button here to turn on the, the scooter. Long press it and you get this display. So it says PAS here. It means um, pedal assist. So this is obviously meant for e-bikes. I've already put seven kilometers on here. This is your uh, uh, speedometer reading, your energy bar, how much battery you've used. So it came almost fully charged out of the box. Uh, and seven kilometers used about this many bars. I think that's three or four bars here on the display. So one of the things I'm going to switch here is the kilometers to miles. So to get into the settings, you're going to uh, press the up and down button together. Okay, I think you have to long press the up and down button together. Okay, so then you get these different settings, P1, P2. P2 is the kilometer and miles per hour, so I'm gonna switch that to one. And then it'll flash, and then it uh, should save momentarily. There you go, so I switched it to miles per hour and your odometer and miles. And this is actually, uh, uh, like it saves the miles total on the scooter. You can reset this if you want. PAS is your different uh, power level, so you can adjust that up and down with the up and down button. Uh, so down and down, so level one. And the max setting right here is for dual motors. So if you want to go single motor, you just hold down the down button. And the max goes away, and now it's on a single motor function. So on uh, level one with single motor, it's actually pretty decent power if you're just a beginner um, and I'm gonna get, you know I'm just gonna go ahead and start riding this and I'll explain a little bit more as I'm riding along so I'm just gonna uh, just ride along this uh, bike trail it's fairly level and I'm gonna stay in um, I'm gonna go back into uh, single motor mode but I'm going to go into power level 2 and I'm at 47.3 47.4 volts So I have full throttle here. Yeah, I'm going about 17 miles an hour. My voltage is down to 45.7 volts. And my uh, energy bars went down to three. So I think the uh, battery cells in this are not the highest quality. You have a lot of voltage sag. Even on um, single motor and power level two. Okay, so we got another. We got an incline here. I'm going to be going down and then up. So there's no regenerative braking on this. And we got another incline here. Yeah, I may need to do a full charge on this battery. Yeah, even though the battery bars were almost all the way up, I might need to do a complete top up to get maximum performance out of this battery. But um, I will have to come back to you on that one in a future video. Yeah, I went up that no problem. I'm only, I was only using a single motor power level two. It did slow down. But it made it up no problem. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna go back under that overpass and up and down that hill, but I'm gonna go into um, dual motor mode and see if there's a difference in speed. So I'm gonna do uh, dual motor mode on um, power level two. You can see here when I'm at, uh, at rest, the battery uh, com comes back up to 47.2 volts and I'm at six bars on the battery. It seems like when you're at full speed on the throttle here, it does have a fair amount of battery sag. All right, let's see how, how this does. So the thing is that when you're on dual motor mode, it's very responsive. And if you haven't ridden a scooter before, you're gonna, you might, you might not, uh, it'll take you a little bit of time to get used to the power. 
very windy. Not sure if you can hear me. I'm just coasting down. All right, now I throttle back on again. Hey, I got a skateboarder here. All right, so going back up. And 44 volts, 43. Two bars of energy, but it's going up much faster. Obviously with two motors to go. And I am hitting about 18, 19 miles an hour. I'm power level two, which is plenty fast for me. This is way faster than the, uh, the M M365 scooter that I used to have. All right, so dual motor, power level one, about 10 miles per hour. Power level two, 18 miles per hour. Whoa. All right, that's faster than I want to go. I was going 25 miles an hour, easy, at the bottom end of the battery too, no less. That's beyond my comfort level. Okay, so just a quick word about the steering and the uh, turning radius. So the steering's quite stiff, um, surprisingly, out of the box, but it did seem to loosen up a little bit as I rode the scooter a little bit more. Uh, I do believe that the stiffness of the steering is by design because it, you know they want you to have nice stability at higher speeds, which it definitely does have. And without the steering uh, kind of floating around all over the place, you do have that sense of security that the, the scooter is going to be very stable at much higher speeds, which is great. Yeah, so overall, you know, I've been really enjoying this scooter um, much better than the M365 that I had for a few years and I really didn't uh, ride it much towards the end before I sold it off because it didn't have great range, didn't have good power because I could not um, go up those inclines which uh, uh, the Pegasus is able to go up these inclines without much problem at all. Um, I think that I would recommend uh, staying in dual motor mode if you are going to be on a path with a lot of declines and inclines going up and down because uh, you do that power does come in very handy on the inclines when you're going uphill. And uh, if you're mostly going to be on a flat surface, uh, single motor is totally fine, although the acceleration is going to be a little bit weaker. And, but however, however, if you're a beginner and not really wanting a lot of power, the single motor is definitely uh, a good way to go because it doesn't have as much of a jump in acceleration right off the start. And uh, another thing I would recommend is um, actually giving a kick to the scooter when you push off so you have a little bit of forward momentum before you actually engage the throttle otherwise it does seem a little bit jumpy uh, right off the throttle although I think there is are there are settings uh, that you can change to adjust the uh, acceleration sensitivity and power and I'll talk about that in the full review full review later but yeah let me know in the comments if you have any questions or uh, concerns for the um, uh, follow-up video if you want to see any additional footage 
but overall I'm uh, working out pretty good I still need to do a range test I still need to um, do a few more things so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments below scooter is currently on promotion I think it's $200 off plus if you sign up for their email newsletter you get an additional $50 off coupon I'm pretty sure based on the information they told me that they're gonna be raising prices up to $1,300 level so if you're looking to get into the scooter at around $1050 um, yeah I would recommend jumping on it now before they start raising prices and I think that um, the next I guess it's the next batch is gonna be coming in so they might be running out of stock pretty soon so just something you'll be aware of and that's why I wanted to get this uh, video out to you guys in case any of you are interested you can jump on this and get the deal for the lower price when you can okay that's gonna do for this video talk to you guys later